When you're an engineer, the first thing you do when you're starting out looking at a problem is you put boundaries around the problem. You say, this is the system that I'm working in. And usually it's like just a little bit outside of your bridge or your roadway or whichever little piece of infrastructure you're building. You're not thinking about all the homes and the land uses and the bigger system that your project is connected into. You know, unfortunately, we created a huge amount of negative impacts, especially when you think about our highway system. Yeah. And I think only in, you know, at least in, as far as I'm aware, I think only in really recent years have we, you know, really started to like broadly mainstream and talk about the impacts of highways on communities that were divided, destroyed, displaced, and start to really atone for that. You see some programs that were created in like the bipartisan infrastructure law and very recently in California about converting highways back to boulevards or taking down highways and transportation infrastructure that divided and displaced communities. And there's massive impacts. And the legacy of that is we're still living with today. And in fact, we're still doing it today. We're still widening highways and continuing to displace homes, continuing to you know, bulldoze parts of communities that have been living with this legacy for generations. And it's got to be in the forefront of our conversation is those kinds of impacts. And unfortunately, you know, we've sort of, we've not sort of, we have put the burden of thinking about that stuff on planners and not on engineers. Engineers still are able to come in after, <laughs> after we've already thought about like, where are we going to widen the highway? And they just figure out how to do it they're not thinking about the community. They're not thinking about the environment and the emissions and the noise and all of those other things. There's sort of already an assumption that this project is important and it's needed. And we don't think about those bigger impacts. So I think it is so important that that be part of our engineering education. We cannot have engineers that are not thinking about, are not aware of the bigger, wider impacts of what we're building and what we're designing. 